The head of the Northern Territory's most powerful Aboriginal body has called for an inquiry into the Giles government's spending on Indigenous affairs. The Territory gets more money from the Commonwealth per head of population than other states because of its high levels of Aboriginal disadvantage. And the Northern Land Council is questioning where that goes. The Housing Minister's announcement of a second review into Indigenous town camp conditions has outraged the Northern Land Council. It shows a lack of respect uh, for Aboriginal people in the Northern Territory uh, in dealing with this matter and I think there needs to be a broader inquiry into the Northern Territory Government's expenditure on Indigenous affairs. Because of its high level of Indigenous disadvantage, the Territory gets more Commonwealth funding per head of population than states without such chronic housing and health problems. There needs to be uh, greater transparency and accountability for the expenditure of those monies. I'd like to throw that question back at him. I'd like to maybe have an investigation on what land councils spend their money on. Much of the extra money is spent on mainstream services, including the prison and police. The government argues Indigenous people make up a large percentage of the clientele. Experts have complained for years about successive governments siphoning off Indigenous funds. We're spending maybe about £70 million for children and family services. Uh, whereas the allocation was around 220 million, and that's been year after year. The Giles government's defending its bush spending. I know that I've got money in the budget now to assist with redeveloping 14 barge landings across the north right now. We are waiting on NLC approvals to uh, to condense, uh, sorry, to commence that work. Labor is also rejecting the idea of an inquiry. I do think an NT government has to start recognising the needs that we have and start addressing those needs. Because of the number of complicated funding formulas used to calculate how much extra the Territory gets to tackle Indigenous disadvantage, mounting an argument about how much should be redirected to the bush will be difficult. But it's a debate that the communities will be watching closely. Jane Barton, ABC News.